All right, good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Okay, so it's the dreaded tax season, Monday, April 15th is the deadline. Um, so there are something to be aware of. This time of year, you have to watch out for tax scammers. Of course. So yeah. it is prime time for that. So here are some tips. So the IRS, they continue to receive complaints, right, that mm -hmm. of, of scams. So phishing. You get an email that it claims to be the IRS and the con might involve the promise of a refund or they threat you they threaten you that saying that you have to owe owe something. But the mm -hmm. IRS never emails you. It's mm -hmm. always by the mail. Smishing. Have you ever heard of smishing? I have not, no. This is a new one for me. So this involves a text message with language that would scare many people. So it might say your account has been put on hold mm -hmm. or there's unusual activity. That's been reported, but they do not, again, the IRS does not text you yeah. either. So phishing and smishing. Okay, and by law, anyone paid to prepare for, you know, that you pay to prepare your tax um, mm -hmm. taxes, they have to have a tax identification number. So make sure the person, if you do it in person, they have a tax identification number. I didn't yeah. really know that. I didn't either. And ask mm -hmm. to see it. Um, and preparers who won't sign their work may not want the IRS to know that they worked on your return. So if they won't sign it, that's a that's a red flag. A red too. flag, yeah. Yeah. So what to do to avoid falling for a tax scam? The IRS again isn't going to threaten by threaten you by sending the police. Mm -hmm. you see, we see that a lot with yeah. scams. Um, look for a letter. The IRS will issue you a letter in the mail only and. The IRS won't ask you to pay a tax bill with a gift card or cryptocurrency. I mean, those yeah. are big red flags. And the IRS won't initiate contact with you by phone or email. So again, it is mm -hmm. through letter correspondence in the mail. Yeah. Um, so just be careful, especially with those emails and text messages that you, that, yeah. that you get. Yeah, I guess a good rule of thumb is if it seems like very urgent, they're trying to get you to take action immediately right. without thinking it through. Right. That's usually a red flag. Yeah, right, yeah. the scare tactics. Okay, so this was kind of, you know, during the eclipse, everyone's like, do make sure you um, wear protective gear for mm -hmm. your eyes um, because, you know, looking at the sun can ruin your, your mm -hmm. eyes. So, so how do you know if your eyes are damaged by the eclipse? So if you have blurry vision after you still have blurry vision and you start to see gray spots, mm -hmm. um, that means that you may have suffered damage to your retinas. So, you need, you need to see a doctor. An oh, yeah, see yeah. a doctor. Yeah, but yeah. it's kind of interesting how a lot, of, you know, a lot of people, I guess some people do look up at the sun. There was actually mm. a story the other day where a woman did that in 2017, and now yeah. she's got permanent damage. Yeah. So. I mean, it's tempting. Uh, you, even when you're wearing glasses, you might take them off for a few seconds right. just to look up without them, but. Yeah, not, yeah. not good. So, yeah. but again, it's that if you have you know, if your eyes are blurry or you see those spots and they're not going yeah. away. Go to an eye doctor. Yeah, it's a red flag. Yeah. Okay. And then Google released its top de destinations for summer vacation in 2024. Mm -hmm. Here is the list. Number one, London. Number two, Paris. Then Tokyo, Rome. New York was number five. Mm -hmm. And then in America, in the States, Orlando, Vegas, Seattle, uh, Los Angeles, Miami. But there's a list of uh, top places, Honolulu, Denver, Madrid, Boston, San Juan. You know, London is number one, Paris, but I'm surprised it's not like Cancun being number one. You yeah. Know, just little warmer spots the right. summer, you want to go out, Miami. Right. Well, I don't want to go to Paris with the Olympics unless I was going to attend. That's very I mean, it's just going to be so crowded. Mm -hmm. That's going um, on in the summer. And that may have played a role in it being number two on this yeah, list, that's, right? That could be, too. That's true. You're right. A lot of people want to go and yeah. for the for a summer holiday and go to Paris and see the Olympics. Mm. Denver was interesting to me. Boston? Yeah. Mm. I have a sister. I've never been to Boston. I have yeah. a little sister. And every everyone I hear that goes says it's a great place to visit. So It's a great city. I just don't know about the top 20 yeah. summer destinations. That's true. Right. I don't think of like, oh, let me go there for this summer. Right. To Boston, yeah, for my summer. Yeah. But, yeah, a lot of people actually in New England, they live in New England during the summer. And then during the winter months, they head down to Florida. Right. They winter. I wish yeah. I had that lifestyle. I know, right? Wouldn't that be it's nice? It's a dream. It's a dream of mine. Maybe one day. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jennifer. Let's take a look at our local headlines on this Wednesday morning. Police in Charlottesville are investigating a man shooting death. 
The 31-year-old was found with multiple gunshot wounds in the area of 12th Street and Grady Avenue around 7.30 yesterday evening. He was pronounced dead at the scene. A traffic alert on I-64 starting today. Expect lane closures between mile markers 137 and 138 east of Zion Crossroads. A VDOT contractor is removing trees and vegetation from the median. For the next three weeks, the eastbound left lane will be closed from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. and the left westbound lane will be closed from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. The Orange Volunteer Fire Company says the relics inside the archaeological Archaeology lab at James Madison's Montpelier appear to be unharmed after a fire there Monday night. Firefighters from several departments spent more than four hours putting out the flames at the archaeology office and the lab. The fire damaged the porch, front room, and attic of the office building. The lab suffered smoke, water, and heat damage, as well as damage to the attic. Thankfully, no injuries were reported. And don't throw away those used eclipse glasses. They could go to a new home and help others see another eclipse that's happening later this year. Donna Mann set up a basket on her front porch to collect used eclipse glasses, and she plans to recycle all the glasses she receives by sending them to schools in Latin America for children to safely see its upcoming eclipse in October. For more information on how you can donate your eclipse glasses, visit 29news.com. That would a good Sometimes. idea to yeah. put them to some good use after, I mean, you're not going to need them again for the next, what, 20 years 20 here? years, yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, Weather-wise, uh, pretty similar setup to what we had yesterday. Chris, mm -hmm. yesterday we hit 81 here in town yesterday. It was nice. Oh, it, yeah. was, it was nice despite the clouds. We'll see similar uh, sky cover today with a mostly cloudy sky. Won't be quite as warm, but still above our normal. It should be about 68. We'll get up to 75 today. And again, just a few showers. Tomorrow will be the uh, main event, uh, periods of rain, few rumbles of thunder. Temperatures will cool back into the upper 60s. And then for Friday, don't forget Friday's after 5 kicks off. Maybe an early morning shower Friday, but clearing and breezy. Should be nice by the time of Friday's after 5 gets going. Mid 60s, beautiful weekend coming up. Upper 60s on Saturday, upper 70s on Sunday. We're in the low 80s Monday and sunshine and upper 70s for Tuesday. So pretty nice looking forecast after getting some good beneficial rain, especially tomorrow. And if you live near the water, you were mentioning earlier, you may want to pay attention tomorrow with all yeah. that rain headed our way. We're looking for one to two inches of rain. So mm -hmm. if you live in an area that has a tendency to flood for the mm -hmm. littlest amount of rain, yeah. certainly be aware of that. As well, if you live near a small creek or stream, certainly watch out for some localized flooding. All right. Well, thank yeah. you, David. And thank mm -hmm. you guys for joining us for the Morning Rush. We'll see you again on 29 News at noon. Have a great Wednesday out there. Hey, so which...